Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to add crafting recipes to Survival Game Kit V2. Um, this will affect the player and uh, crafting components like the crafting bench you can see here. Um, so uh, let's get into it and I'll show you how to do that. First we're going to go to blueprints, then items, and in here you're going to find the crafting recipes list. So we can open that up. And there's a few in here by default, um, you can see. Um, I'm just going to run through the settings and uh, we might even add one in um, so just so I can show you um, how to do that. Um, so first we've just got the recipe name. This is used in the UI. So for this, it's the this is an axe recipe. So it's called axe. You've got the description used um, for the tooltip when you hover over the, the uh, recipe in the uh, UI. Um, item cost is how much or what item the item costs and how many of them. Um, you can set multiple items here. So you just click the add. You can add another item. Um, if you wanted to add another item, set the data table to the master item list and then you can uh, select any item you like and then you can set the item amount. Um, I'm just going to remove this because I don't want to break the uh, axe recipe. So um, our axe costs 10 wood, we can see here. Um, crafted items are the items that will be given to the player or added to the inventory um, when the recipe is finished. So for this it's set to uh, weapon, which is the axe, and we're returning one of them, so we're crafting one item. Um, again, you can set multiple items to be returned, you just click this little add button, and then uh, you do what we did, the same thing we did with the item cost, but in the crafted items instead. Um, we've got the time, which is how long it will take to craft. Um, we've got the recipe type. So this is where the recipe um, will show up. So you can see that it's set to uh, just player at the moment. Um, but if I selected this and chose uh, crafting bench, then only crafting benches would see this uh, recipe. Um, if we wanted it for both, we could just click this little add and we could add the crafting bench as well. Um, I'll remove this for now, but yeah, so that's how you can determine where the recipe will show up. Um, recipe category, so um, you may have seen in the crafting UI, there's a little category drop down. Um, this is basically the, the categories this item will still show up in. So set to, you probably wanna keep all in all of your recipes because that's what you want to show up. Um, but then we've got weapons and holdables set in here as well. Um, Required actors, um, basically what required actors do is we can set an, any uh, actor um, in here. We can set its class and what this will do is when we try to craft the recipe, um, a check is done um, around the player or the crafting component um, for this particular actor. If it finds the actor within an, in the uh, range, um, then it will allow you to craft this recipe. If it doesn't find that actor, then you won't be able to craft the recipe. Um, so this is useful if you wanted to create like, um, I don't know, like a, a, a workbench that the player can um, craft when near. I think um, Rust does something like this where if you're near a crafting bench, you get, um, you can craft certain recipes, um, but if you're not near it, then you can't craft them. Um, so that's what that's for. And then uh, recipe icon is, is the icon that will show up in the recipe UI. So we can quickly run through and add one, uh, just as an example. Um, I'll just call this, um, we can just call it magazine, um, magazine underscore M4A4. So we'll make a recipe for the um, M4's magazine. So I'll just call it magazine. Um, I won't bother putting a description, you can I'll just put text. Um, you can put description if you like. Item cost, um, I'll set mine to, um, set our data table to the uh, master item list. Uh, row name to, um, this is the, the item cost. So we'll set this to uh, iron, not icon, iron. We'll set this to iron bar and we'll require say three iron bars for this. And then crafted items, we want to craft the uh, we'll set the item master item list again. Uh, we'll craft the magazine and we can select the M4 magazine and we'll craft one uh, magazine. Um, time will say take five seconds 
and we want this recipe to show up. Um, we can make it show up in both actually. We'll s so we'll see it in the player and in the crafting bench uh, um, recipe menus. And um, we'll add our categories to uh, weapon, not weapon, sorry. We'll set it to ammo. Um, required actors, I'm not gonna choose, but if you want to, you can set that. And then our icon, I'll use the uh, magazine quick slot icon, uh, just because I know that this one's a square one, whereas the inventory one is um, a bit stretched because it's a long uh, item in the inventory. So we'll just use this one. Um, you want this icon to be a square, um, just, just so it looks best in the uh, UI. So I've just created my new recipe, I can save that, and I can hit play to jump into the game. It might take a second to load because it will have to recompile some stuff because we've added to the um, the recipe list. But once we're in, uh, we can hit tab and go to crafting, and we should see our magazine there. You can see if we hover over it, um, the cost and the crafted item um, like that. And if I interact with the crafting bench as well, go to crafting, you can see our magazines there as well because we set it to uh, um, be there. Um, another thing you can do with crafting is in the player inventory component. Um, so we'll go, we'll search for player inventory in our blueprints folder. We can open that up. In here, uh, let's just go to the event graph like that. And we'll go to class defaults and we can search for a recipe. And you can see we can set learnable recipes and um, starting recipes. What this does is basically allows us to um, set it so our player has to learn recipes from items um, to be able to craft them, um, So, which is quite a cool feature. Um, and you can also set the um, recipes that the player starts with. So say you wanted them to be able to build a fire and make an axe, but you didn't want them to be able to make guns, for example. They had to learn how to do that. You could do that here. Um, so that's something you can set up. Um, I can show you quickly as well um, how you would set an item to um, teach a recipe. So um, we can go to the item list. Again, just searching in the blueprints folder, we'll just search item list. We'll open this up and uh, I'll just pick, we'll pick the stone resource just because that's nearby where we are. Um, so in here, I have a video that goes into more detail about items settings and all of these different options. Um, but just for this video, we're just talking about crafting. Um, we can go down to where it says recipe details. We can open that up and you can see we've got learned recipes. So this is where we can set when our player uses this item or learns the item, we can set what uh, recipe we add. So for the data table, we want to do the um, crafting, search for crafting, master crafting recipe list. And then we can set what recipe we want to learn from this item. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to set this to, where's my magazine? And then we can also set whether or not the item destroys when we learn from it. Um, so that's up to you. You can also add multiple recipes. So you just click the plus and you just do what we just did. Um, and then you can, you can learn uh, more than one recipe from the item. So um, I've just done that. To be able to actually use the item in this way, I'm just gonna quickly add uh, inventory action. Um, we'll set this to learn. Again, I have a video um, called, uh, I think it's called adding items or adding new items where I talk about these settings, but I'm just doing this quickly for this video. So I'm gonna just call this learn. And now we'll be able to uh, right click on our, our inventory to learn uh, the recipe from this item. Um, I didn't actually turn on um, learnable recipes in here. So just in my player inventory, I'm gonna do that. And um, I'll set a starting recipe just so you can see that how that works. Again, we'll do the master crafting recipe list. And I'll say we can craft uh, the campfire, um, but only the campfire. And we can compile that quickly. And then we'll jump into the game and we should see uh, if we open up the crafting, all we can make is the campfire because we haven't learned any new recipes. Um, we can pick up the stone 
uh, we can't actually uh, fit that in our inventory. Um, what I'll do is I'll move us over here so I can pick up a backpack. So uh, we'll equip the backpack and we'll find some stone, pick that up. And now if I right click, I can select learn, magazine recipe learnt, and we can open up our crafting menu. You can see we've now got our uh, magazine uh, recipe there. Um, we can also set it um, so that in our player inventory component, this is um, that you can um, have the player lose all of their recipes on death. Um, so if you wanted that to happen, you can uh, tick this option on here. There was one other thing I wanted to show you guys, and that's um, the crafting um, component here. So our uh, workbench or crafting bench here uh, uses one. Um, I'm going to edit the settings um, or show you the settings in here, but you can also go to the full blueprint um, and edit the settings by selecting the component in there as well. Um, but I'm just actually I'll do that now. So we're in the blueprint, select the uh, crafting component and in here uh, we can set some of its settings. So first is our fuel. We can set whether or not it uses fuel, so require fuel. Um, whether or not it auto switches on, so that will be um, if it can switch on it will automatically turn itself on. Um, number of fuel slots is the number of fuel slots it has. Um, and then fuel items here is the items it will use as fuel. Um, by default, this is just the wood. Um, then we have our inventory details. Um, I won't go into full detail about this, but um, the main settings for this are, can items be contained? This needs to be set to true. Um, and then your um, inventory cells and columns are how many slots your inventory or the, sorry the crafting bench inventory will have uh, columns is how many uh, slots wide that will be um, use weight um, by default this is uh, disabled but you can enable that if you like um, the same is with the item count you can use the item count limit which means you can only have a certain number of items and you can set that number here um, Container type won't change anything. Um, you can use restricted items as well. Um, and you can set whether the items listed in restricted items are allowed or uh, not allowed. Um, so you can use those settings. Um, I have a separate video that, that I go through these in a lot more detail that you can check out. Um, that's the container items video. Um, these settings do exactly the same thing. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, one thing you do want to make sure is um, you don't ever want the number of fuel slots to be more than your inventory slots. You'll just have problems. So always make sure that your inventory slots is higher than your number of fuel slots. Um, but that's pretty much it. Here you set the crafting type. So um, there's only player and uh, crafting bench by default. This is basically what, you know, when, you, when we created the recipe earlier, um, this is what tells the system what um, type of crafting type this this component is. Um, so if you wanted to, you could add more. Um, I'll show you how to do that quickly. Um, so if you go to blueprints and we search for E crafting type, we can open that up and we could add a new one in here. So you had a crafting machine that you wanted to add to here and that only had certain types of recipes. You could do that and then in its uh, crafting component here, you could set its crafting type. Um, you have the um, random item spawning, um, so you can have it set up so random items will spawn in its inventory. Um, I have a separate video again for this where I explain those settings in more detail. Um, destruction bag is if this um, build part is destroyed, um, it will spawn a little bag with all of the items that the inventory had uh, when it's destroyed. Um, that's pretty much it for the settings in the crafting component. Um, in your player inventory, you actually have the same um, crafting crafting uh, details. You have the same uh, crafting type, but it's set to um, to player here. Um, one other setting is the crafting required actor size check. So earlier on, when I told you about the required actors um, and they're checking um, if the actors. Um, within a distance of the of the um, 
of the thing doing the crafting this is the distance that it will check so by default for the player it's six meters um, and then uh, for yeah for the crafting bench as well it will check six meters if you want to change that you can do that here um, if you do have any questions you can always hover over um, a variable's name and you get these tool tips um, which explain what they do um, but that's that's pretty much it for uh, the crafting system hopefully um, you learned something from this video uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment and um, don't forget to join our discord which i'll have in the description um, that's pretty much it so thank you for watching